Hello, Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury. Thanks for your patience if you have been waiting. I did start with Leo yesterday because we're in Leo season. I'm looking at the stove clock. It's 5.55 p.m. Make a wish. 15, that's 6. 6 is Venus. Love. We've got the new moon in Leo on Thursday, July 28th. Excellent time to figure out what exactly do you want to manifest. Be specific. Because I've found less than optimal results whenever I say, I intend peace, power, prosperity. That kind of has fallen flat lately. So I'm going to be a lot more specific with this new moon. Seven of Cups, Siete de Copas. Seven of Pentacles, Siete de Oros. Sota de Bastos, Page of Wands. Six of Pentacles, Seis de Oros. Ace of Cups, Sos de Copas. Eight of Cups, Ocho de Copas. The water dominates. Three out of six. It's all water and earth, except for this page of wands, fire. So the transits this week, culminating with the new moon and Leo on Thursday, that could be hitting some really sensitive parts in your natal chart. Uh, look at Leo and see which house is that in your natal chart. It's my 12th house, the darkest house, the house of Pisces, the house of the unconscious, the subconscious. Um, so look at which house Leo is and look at how this new moon is going to affect you. Look at the degrees. How does it hit your angles? All of that. Because I see you being really emotional and feeling like you may be planting the seeds now. You may be conscious now of what exactly you want to manifest, but you feel like the fruition, the manifestation is long, long off in the distance like it could take you years to manifest this maybe for some of you you've been alone for a while you've not been in a romantic sexual relationship and what you hunger for the most what you're thirstiest for is a deeply gratifying romantic sexual relationship a lot of us are members of that club and it's like I was just saying for Gemini, my very firm belief is that the best cards in the deck begin with each of us, such as the Ace of Cups, the Holy Grail. We have to find the Ace of Cups in ourselves before it can manifest in a relationship. If we're just waiting around feeling lack, feeling loneliness, just waiting for someone to magically appear and fill this cup. That ain't it. Anyone can manifest a romantic sexual relationship. That's not hard. Uh, I have three exes from 2016 alone. Whenever I decide that I'm going to do X, Y, Z and I'm going to manifest a relationship, it happens. Uh, but there's a reason why... I've been in hermit mode since November 2016, and there's no end in sight. And I get lonely, you know, but I am choosing celibacy, and I'm choosing not to put myself out there at this time. So how do I fill my cups if I'm not in a romantic sexual relationship? It's very basic. It's very easy. And every day is different. 
You know, some days I feel more alone than other days. Some days I'm in a really high vibration. I create like my ass is on fire. I have numerous channels at YouTube. Only the one is monetized, Siren Tayro. Um, I have more subscribers here and at Siren Tayro than any of the other channels. Uh, tarot continues to trend. So the other channels, it's just for my satisfaction, just playing around, having fun with art, dolls, toys, puppets, reading from various books. Um, I have received so many compliments, so much praise for my novel, Bullshit Rodeo. But you go to Amazon and you see Bullshit Rodeo and um, there are only eight reviews, which it just seems crazy to me. And there are, I, in my opinion, maybe I'm very conceited, there are much lesser books at Amazon that have a lot more reviews than that. So I don't know. I've just, I've been told all kinds of things, you know, that this novel is going to make you famous. You're going to get rich from this novel. This is the best novel I've ever read. This is one of the top 10 novels that I've read. But I just, I keep doing the work. I've been meditating lately and getting crazy downloads. And what I'm being told again and again and again in these meditations is that I have got to write. And I don't want to write. I just want to sit on my ass and upload designs to Redbubble and sit on my ass and cut pictures out of magazines and make collages because it's very easy for me to access art and it's very um, tangible and it's, it's instant gratification with art. Writing is not like that. It's not instant gratification. This is not the energy of you being gratified instantly. Whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever seed you're planting, this is not going to come to fruition for a while. So don't expect, if you're trying to manifest this romantic sexual relationship, for this person to just show up six months from now. That's not going to happen. But the usual disclaimer, number one, it's not a personal card reading. I'm reading for a vast, not that vast, not at this channel. The views are terrible, but I'm reading for a global audience. So it's not going to resonate with everyone. That's impossible. Uh, and I'm not fatalistic or superstitious when it comes to the cards. We create our realities. Maybe you're really good at manifesting. Uh, there's that popular video, how to manifest anything you want in three days or less. Or you go to the clickbait videos, say this mantra, say this prayer, and you will be shocked at the immediate results. Yeah, I've been doing that stuff for a while now. And for me, it has never been instant gratification with anything. The quickest I ever manifested something, and I use this example a lot because it just, it was very shocking. It was big. I scrawled on a piece of paper in December 2012 that I wanted to manifest a man who had Sun in Capricorn, Mars in Sagittarius, who liked to fish and dance. Forgot about it. Two weeks later, December 23rd, I was doing last minute Christmas shopping. Walked into a bar on Broadway in Alamo Heights, San Antonio. And my only intention was to buy a bacon cheeseburger and a beer. Have my little feast and then go home and wrap presents and bake Christmas cookies. Sat down, ordered my Negro Modelo, my bacon cheeseburger and this attractive Latino approaches my booth and asked me to join him and his sons in the back. They were drinking and shooting pool. I did. And everything that I put on that piece of paper manifested in this man and a lot extra. So on again, off again, this really crazy karmic kind of relationship from December 23rd, 2012 to November, whatever the date was, 2016, when I broke our engagement and walked away for good. So that's the quickest I ever manifested anything in my life. Uh, when I started Siren Tayro, November 18th, 2018, six more cards for cancer. I wasn't expecting much. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I had some experience with tarot, but I never read for anyone but myself. And I was just watching pick a card readings thinking, oh, maybe I could start a pick a card channel. And so I did. Um, 
and I by no means had overnight success. It took me a while to get to 21,000 subscribers. Uh, there were people that started way after I did and they're at over 100,000 subscribers. There were people who started about the same time and they're at less than 10,000 subscribers. So, you know, whatever, it's all just numbers, right? But um, I was able to pay off all my credit card debt because of the client readings and I was able to start a savings account, but it was not an overnight success. It was me doing a lot of trial and error saying, okay, this is not going to work. And okay, I can't read for this kind of client because this energy is too uh, low vibration. It's too desperate. I'm not going to read for that kind of client. So it's been me picking and choosing the clients that I read for, being very careful with my energy, being very careful what I put out there and what I allow in. Um, because I can't deal with dirty energy. I just, I can't. Um, and I have to speak the disclaimers over and over again. Not reading for one person, I'm reading for an audience. I'm just looking at the cards that are in front of me. I don't see anyone. I am not feeling anyone's energy but my own. Um, entertainment purposes, etc., etc. because there are a lot of people who are deeply hurting and they're desperate and they turn to tarot for help and they get the private readings because they don't know what the fuck is going on. They have no clarity and they feel like they have no power over their lives. Four of Pentacles, Quattro de Oros, Queen of Pentacles, Reina de Oros, Three of Cups, Race de Copas, The Emperor, King of Wands, Rey de Bastos, and Seven of Swords. Nope, Seven of Wands. I was not thinking very clearly when I made this deck because the colors are all so similar. But that's Seven of Wands, Resistance. You know that you don't want something casual. You don't want friends with benefits. You don't want to hit it and quit it. You don't want to fuck buddy. You want a relationship you can sink your teeth into. Okay, you're going to have to be the emperor of your own life. You're going to have to be clear with your boundaries. If you're in something and it doesn't feel very good, I don't like the way this person's approaching me. I don't like the way they're talking to me. Kill it. Cut them out of your life. It's that simple. And people can say, no, it's it's complicated. Yeah, he can be an asshole, but da 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 Cut out the bullshit. Be the boss of your own life. You have to have decent self-esteem to do that. If your self-esteem is shit, if you've been telling yourself lies for years, I'm lucky to get any attention at all because I'm 20 pounds overweight or my skin is the wrong color or my hair is the wrong texture or my face doesn't look as good as Beyonce's or Taylor Swift's or whatever. You got to stop with the bullshit, the stuff that you tell yourself. Um, at Sky Radio, I do affirmation videos. I'm doing that more for myself than for anyone else because they say if you listen to affirmations in your own voice, they're more powerful. So I've gotten decent feedback and praise at that channel and I've got over a hundred subscribers, but it's more for me than for anyone else. And I've got other channels that I do the affirmations on and it's more for me than anyone else. I'm not really doing it for an audience, but I'm just putting it out there just because what else am I gonna do? I'm not in a relationship. So I'm always creating and some days are better than others. Um, you've gotta find something and I've, been saying this message for a lot of the signs so this is not just for cancer it's it's for a lot of people a lot of people hear this message I guess you've got to find something that really excites you that really puts you in a high vibration that has nothing to do with sex or another person this is fierce independence having the king of wands next to the emperor like that fierce Mars Aries energy uh, liking your life, feeling appreciation for your life, even if you are alone right now, you're not in this wonderful relationship. But if you're in something half-assed, if someone is just coming in and going out, 
don't give that person any power. No person on this planet is worth your peace of mind. So that's what I see for cancer. I am always available for private in-depth personal readings. All the steps have to be followed. It's all in every description box. And I feel okay with that. I feel okay with being strong with my boundaries and conservative with my energy. But that's what I have. I hope that helps. Thanks so much for watching. Sending much love and light from San Antonio. Peace out.